Howdy, Josh and Dan here from the Acoustic Centre on what is a very exciting day for us. We have just landed our very first shipment of Iris guitars all the way from Vermont, USA. Joshy, we've been admiring these guitars for a long time. Indeed. Um, it's so exciting to finally get our hands on guitars that we've been admiring from the other side of the world. They look beautiful, they appear to be beautiful, the reviews are all fantastic, but you never know how they're going to be until you actually get your hands on them. We've had them in the shop for a few days. We are all blown away by these guitars. That's right. Uh, you know, the last few years, a lot of people and a lot of companies have been getting into this retro, Depression-era style guitar. Mm -hmm. So it's great to see a company that is going headlong into concentrating on this style of guitar. Right, it's what know. they do. Yeah, it's what they do um, pretty much exclusively. Right. Yeah. Um, they're a very small team, 16, 20... Um, uh, people strong team when you read about the guys and the the women that are working there it's serious business they're yeah. all ex santa cruz <laughs> ex collings ex froggy bottom luthiers that yeah. are now channeling everything they know into these beautiful guitars yeah. um the five that we ordered are all pretty similar specs mm. sitka spruce top mahogany back and sides adirondack bracing on the inside yeah yeah um certainly they, they feel boutique in terms of just you know, guitar is, is, a, is a feel thing, a tangible thing. They're, they're light as a feather. Yeah. And as soon as you strum a chord, you can hear that sort of big resonance take right. off. And true to the tone, it's got that honky kind of boxy thing as well. Yeah. Particularly with this one being a double O. So this one is the MS. MS. Double O. Double O. Yeah, yeah. Let's have another little taste of this one. <laughs> That. And I just hear soundtracks been written with this guitar, yeah, um, and albums being recorded. That's for sure. Twenty four point seven five. Correct. The scale length on that one. Yep. So a, a genuine short scale short guitar. Short scale, not a hard guitar to play. That's for sure. Uh, set up immaculately, I must say. Yeah. We we have not touched these guitars yet. The so. nut and saddle work yeah. is exquisite. Lovely, yeah. simple, straight line rosewood bridge. Yeah, and you know, I, I was talking to you before about it's a great time to be alive. When it comes to uh, you know retro and vintage guitars, because this is a, a retro style guitar, depression era style guitar, we're the compensated saddle, so it's in tune, and yeah. and it just has that sound. But you can certainly play this, and uh, you know your recording's going to be in tune. It's going to sound wonderful. Yeah, unreal. All right, let's go through them. We've All got right. five. We're going from smallest to biggest. What yes. have you got next for us? Okay, so this one is. The one they say put them on the map, the OG. Mm -hmm. So scale length on this one, uh, twenty five. Yep, and it's not quite as small as a double O. It's not quite as big as a dreadnought. Mm. I don't know what to describe that as. It's like a sort of a small dreadnought. I guess you would. Yeah. Anyway, sounds like yeah. <laughs> That's become an early shop favourite. This Definitely one, there's louder. a couple of guys eyeing this off. Yeah, they already, already. are eyeing this one off. Uh, very good uh, single note guitar. Mm -hmm. They're very thick and yeah. strident single yeah. notes. You'll notice this one has a gloss top. It comes with their lightly aged distressed uh, option, which is... Just how I like aging of guitars, Joshy. I yes. mean, it's still absolutely mint and brand new with yeah, no yeah. damage done to it, but it's like it's been sitting in a case for 40 years or something. That's right. It doesn't. It hasn't been dra dragged behind a car exactly on right. the way to work this morning. Yeah, so. so that's an option that they offer. Um, Good looking gorgeous. guitar. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. That's. I reckon that's the right colour too. I love that colour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. The period correct guards. They've got a few different guards. They're all and cool. your favourite bevelled guard. Love a bevelled guard. <laughs> Moving on, I've got right something up. for you. Joshy, if you know me, you know my life revolves around <laughs> sun, true. sunburst slope shoulder dread. I've, I've spent my life looking for the perfect <laughs> slope shoulder <laughs> dread. I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these for so long, wondering what they sound like. And man, I love these guitars. They are so warm, round and forgiving. Oh, here we go. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That one all 
world, eh? Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's um, incredible. This is the DF model, uh, yeah. the slope shoulder dread. 25-inch scale, which it's, you know, it's somewhere between short and, and long scale. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a really great option for a scale length. Gives you the best of both worlds. It's amazing. Oh. We say this all the time. You've got to come into the shop to try these guitars because mm. it's... You, mm. you go from these two, which sound absolutely remarkable, and mm. then you just go whack with yeah. that, and all that bite, bass response and fullness comes out all of a sudden. It's, yeah. It's quite amazing. One of the best sounding slope shoulder dreads I've played, without a doubt. Um, some of them can be pretty barky and midi and throaty. This is lovely and warm and forgiving, mm. which I absolutely love. Something to show you. I'll swap you that one. This is the same guitar. It's another DF, and it comes with their lightly aged distressed option. So tastefully done. Um, and we were saying it, it does look like Adirondack, but that is Sitka Spruce. Uh, yeah, I questioned it because I thought it looked like Adirondack with a wide grain, but apparently it's Sitka. I may have that wrong. Um, and that burst looks just right It's one me. of the best bursts you'd, you'd ever see. Lightly aged. Oh, that's just stunning. Here Let's we go. go. of the lot that's my favorite and it puts to bed the theory that a gloss top can kill the tone sometimes yeah because i mean they sound both as good as each other that one even has a slight edge for me there's something yeah, about it yeah it's definitely that's a pretty magic guitar and i love that binding aged yeah you know it's just got that perfect kind of off-white color it yeah. just looks amazing um some interesting things with the heel and the yep. neck join you were saying earlier well, it's just a shape I haven't come across, you know, before. Yeah. Uh, and these are a mortise and tenon neck join uh -huh. on these uh, with a bolt-on neck yep. as well. So it's an interesting construction and, you know, whatever they're doing sounds good to me. They're sounds, incredible. Sounds just right. And it's, as I keep saying, light as a feather, vintage style uh, bridge. So very small amount of mass on that guitar face. So that's why they're so, well, that's one of the reasons they're so resonant mm. that way. So very, very nice to see. And we said it before, but nicely compensated saddle, nice and in tune as a guitar, that's for sure. <laughs> I'll let you reach for the last guitar. Um, there you go. The other great thing, Joshy, which we haven't discussed is the price of these guitars. Um, they're all hovering around the five grand marks. Yeah. Some a little bit over, some a little bit under, which is nothing to scoff at. Five thousand uh, Australian dollars is a lot of money, but compared to other boutique makers yeah. around the world, American yeah. builders, yeah, from the, the price is astonishing. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a pretty amazing price, and uh, you know, I reiterate what you said. That is a lot of money, but for a guitar that is essentially a boutique guitar, mm. I mean, that that's a pretty astonishing price. For yeah, sure. yeah. Um, Okay. What do you got for us? Well, this is uh, what we call the ND, uh -huh. N Vanelli. Uh, I forgot the name that that represents. It's but anyway. named after their head luthier. It's his initials. I can't remember his yeah, name. Yeah, so, sorry. I, forgive us Irish guitars, but uh, you've got a good guitar there. It's an <laughs> ND 200. So, yes. you know, a tribute to the well, king. The king, the J200. Yep. So, what are we talking here? We're talking. <laughs> You said this is one of your favourites. <laughs> it is. I one. just, I love a guitar that <clears throat> is big and full mm. and rich. It's just satisfying. It takes no prisoners. That's right. Um, another beautiful guitar. Um, these bursts, I love the colour of these bursts. Yeah, I think they call that their iced tea burst. Yeah, the it's, other ones, it's a great the looking The darker ones, colour. the tobacco burst. And did you notice that this particular uh, pick guard, this is just us looking at them and ooing and ahhing over them, but it's a, uh, it's not... It's a satin finish, yeah, pick yeah. guard too. Yeah. That's I've, that's not something I've seen very yeah. often either. So they seem to have a range of very cool vintage correct pick guard options. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the tiger stripe guard, uh, very common back in the day, of course. Mm. In fact, they offer a whole range of customization options. If you jump on the Iris website, you'll see they do a full range of options. They offer rosewood back and sides, walnut, Brazilian even, Adirondack mm. tops, um, different nut widths, different gloss options. At, yeah. at not a lot of extra uh, money. 
Uh, one thing I was going to say is, you know, I think one of the hardest things to get right with a guitar too is a headstock. Right. I think that's a hard thing to get right. right. And I do, I do like that headstock. It's not too long. It's not too short. Yep. And it's a, it's, a, it's a great shape. It's so simple. Yeah, it's great. This flower logo is a new option for them. Yeah. You can get it with Iris written down the headstock. Um, and the vintage flower logo is cool. Vintage machine heads, you know, three aside. It's a good look. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Our first look at our five new Iris guitars. We are blown away by these. We absolutely love them. Um, they've lived up to all of our expectations and more. Uh, they're up on our website now. Come into the store and have a feel, have a play, get to know them. Um, thanks, Iris Guitars. We couldn't be happier to have them. Thank you. Take us out with a few chords. <laughs>